Welcome to Kids Cove News. We are so glad that you're here with us today. We have so many amazing events this month and you will not want to miss any of them. VBS is almost here. It is July 15th to the 19th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. for all children ages three through the completion of sixth grade. We want you to be a part of this amazing week. We will have incredible time of learning our Bible lessons together, games, bounce houses, snow cones every day. Every day. Shanna Elira is coming to lead us in worship and so much more. Yes, it's a big week. That will be fun. On Sunday, July 21st, you don't want to miss BBS Sunday. If you are new to our church or want to learn more about First Dallas, your parents are invited to breakfast at 9 15 in the effort. And you are invited to join us in Sunday school as Jana is with us for lunch group that morning. Yes, it's a big day. And then we're all gonna go to the historic sanctuary at 11 o'clock for worship with our families and you get to sing on stage with Jana Alara. We will also have a free lunch for everyone in center stage together after church. That's a big day. It's a big day, a lot of fun. We also have our preschool and our preteen play days coming up at the end of July, our scripture memory celebration on July 28th, and we're getting ready for Promotion Sunday coming up on August 18th. Can you believe yes. it's already here? I can't, yes. I can't, and it's a big Western day. We're gonna get it on up, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. But our sixth graders are headed up to the student ministry. We are gonna miss you. And we have our kindergarten Bible presentation and big church club luncheon on August 11th. So if you are going to go into kindergarten this next year, tell your parents to watch their email for some very important details. We can't wait to celebrate you. That's right, Michelle. We have some birthdays to celebrate this week. Happy birthday to PM and Diva. Happy birthday to Preston and Asher. And happy birthday to Harper and Henry. And happy birthday to Princeton, Sarah, and Caleb. Happy birthday, friends. Today is National Chocolate Day. <laughs> One of my favorites. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fun chocolate treats. Enjoy Ooh. your favorite piece of chocolate today. I think I'm gonna go for one of these big ones. <laughs> That's, That's a wrap, wrap for, for Kids Cove News. News. See, See you, you next week. week. Hey, I Campus Kids, my name is Yancey. I want to invite you to stand and sing with us today. We're going to sing out of the book of Psalms. We're going to cry out to God just like David did. Come on, sing with me. The Lord is my strength and my shield and I He's my helper. Come on, sing. The Lord is my strength and my shield, and I will trust Him through anything. He's my helper, and I'm never, never alone. And God goes with me as time marches on. The Lord is my strength and my shield, and I will trust Him through anything. He's my helper, no matter what you face. The Lord is my strength and my shield, and I will trust Him through anything. He's my helper every single day. with me as time marches on. Get ready. One, two, three. I'm jump, jump, jumping for joy. I'm shout, shout, shouting. Thank you. I'm sing, sing, sing my love. I'm giving all my praise to you, 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 you. God, it's all for you, you. Make it loud. I give my praise to you. Come on. Got it so
jumping for joy. I'm shout, shout, shouting, thank you. I'm sing, sing, sing my love. I'm giving all my praise. I'm jump, jump, jumping for joy. I'm shout, shout, shouting, thank you. I'm sing, sing, sing my love. I'm giving. Jesus. Yeah. Hi, iCampus Kids. I'm Miss Bailey, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Last week, we learned that the religious leaders in Jerusalem were not very happy with Paul because he was preaching and teaching about Jesus. They caused a huge commotion in the city because Paul was saying Jesus rose from the dead and is the only way to be saved. The Roman commander in the city and his soldiers heard what was happening and they hurried to figure out what was going on. The soldiers learned that Paul was a Roman citizen by birth and the commander kept Paul under guard until he could be given a trial. Today, we are going to learn that what happened next in Paul's story is amazing, even though it was hard and Paul faced many challenges and he was mistreated because of his faith in Jesus God protected him. God had a plan for Paul to go to Rome and God never abandons his plan. We'll be in Acts chapter 23 today. Turn with me in your own Bibles to the New Testament book of Acts. The next day, the Roman commander released Paul and instructed the chief priests and the Sanhedrin to meet. The Sanhedrin is the highest Jewish council made up of 71 Jewish leaders and was governed by the high priest. Let's pick up in verse six to find out how their conversation went. When Paul realized that one part of them were Sadducees and the other part were Pharisees, he cried out in the Sanhedrin, brothers, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. I am being judged because of the hope of the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. For the Sadducees say there is no resurrection, and neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees affirm them all. The shouting grew loud, and some of the scribes of the Pharisees' party got up and argued vehemently. We find nothing evil in this man. What if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him? When the dispute became violent, the commander feared that Paul might be torn apart by them and ordered the troops to go down, take him away from them, and bring him into the barracks. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Have courage, for as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so it is necessary for you to testify in Rome. That did not go well at all, did it? Paul realized that part of the Sanhedrin were Pharisees and part of them were Sadducees. And while they were on the same council, the Pharisees and Sadducees had differing beliefs about the resurrection. So Paul was standing before them all and a disagreement broke out between them. Here's a picture of what this might have looked like. The Roman commander then stepped in to take Paul away from this chaos. That night, the Bible says that the Lord stood by him and told him to have courage. He said, it's part of my plan for you to speak the truth about me in Rome. God was not finished. He had a good plan to help Paul take the good news of the gospel around the world. Now listen closely because what happens next is very interesting. As a Roman citizen, Paul was protected by the Romans, but God was faithful to help and protect Paul in a mighty way. Let's pick up in verse 12. When it was morning, the Jews formed a conspiracy or plan and bound themselves under a curse not to eat or drink until they had killed Paul. There were more than 40 who had formed this plot. These men went to the chief priests and elders and said, 
We have bound ourselves under a solemn curse that we won't eat anything until we have killed Paul. So now you, along with the Sanhedrin, make a request to the commander that he bring him down to you as if you were going to investigate his case more thoroughly. But before he gets near, we are ready to kill him. But the son of Paul's sister, hearing about their ambush, came and entered the barracks and reported it to Paul. Paul called one of the centurions and said, take this young man to the commander because he has something to report to him. So he took him, brought him to the commander and said, the prisoner Paul called me and asked me to bring this young man to you because he has something to tell you. The commander took him by the hand, led him aside and inquired privately, what is it that you have to report to me? The Jews, he said, have agreed to ask you to bring Paul down to the Sanhedrin tomorrow, as though they are going to hold a somewhat more careful inquiry about him. Don't let them persuade you because they are more than 40 of them lying in ambush, men who have bound themselves under a curse not to eat or drink until they have killed him. Now they are ready, waiting for your consent. So the commander dismissed the young man and instructed him, don't tell anyone that you have informed me about this. Even when the Jews made a plan to kill Paul, God made a way for the Roman commander to hear about this secret plan. Do you remember who God used? That's right, Paul's nephew overheard their plan and reported it straight to the commander. Verse 23 tells us that the commander summoned two of his soldiers and told them to gather up over 400 leaders in the Roman army to provide safety for Paul to be brought to the governor for protection. He then wrote a letter to the governor explaining what was happening, who this man was, and why he was sending Paul to him. The soldiers took Paul during the night and safely escorted him out of Jerusalem and on to Caesarea. The Bible says Paul was kept under guard in Herod's palace. Can you believe that? God works in mighty and unexpected ways. Nothing is outside of God's plan for our lives too. Even when times are difficult and don't seem to make sense, we can trust that God is working for our good and His glory. Paul trusted God and believed that God would make a way to get Paul to Rome. Paul had great courage even in the midst of great danger because he knew the one true God would always keep his promises. Sometimes showing courage in our lives means doing the right thing, even when it's hard and even when no one else is doing it. Sometimes it means having courage to share our faith with someone who doesn't yet know Jesus. God had a good plan for Paul. God protected him throughout every challenge he faced. God has a plan for us too and God will protect us through every challenge that we face as well. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your protection over my life. I know you have a special plan for me, for my good and your glory. Help me to trust you even when things are hard. Give me courage to share Jesus with others around me this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us on iCampus Kids. We'll see you next week. Kids, kids, I'm Coach Bobcat. Wow, the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids is good. Now, when I say our campus kids, I need you to throw your hands in the air like you just scored a touchdown and say it's good. Okay. Now, once again, I'm Coach Bobcat. Wow, the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids. It's good. All right, now I'm the coach who's ready to help you to be able to say it's good. Say it's good. All right. All right, friends. Now, it is getting warm out and it's summertime here in the summer. And you know what? I had to get out there and get my cool summer dew, okay? So did you notice? <laughs> okay, now the first thing that a great athlete needs to do is before you get out there and play in the game is you gotta stretch. Somebody say stretch. All right, now everybody stand up, stand up and get ready. Come on, we're gonna get ready to stretch. Now, turn to your neighbor and say, I need a little bit of stretching space. 
All right, okay. All right, turn to your other neighbor and say, I need a little bit of stretching space. Okay, now we're gonna start out with some ups, sides, and some downs, okay, everybody? So say it with me, here we go. Up, side, down, say it again, we go up, side, down, say it again, we go up, side, down. One more time, we go up, side, down. Now let's walk in place. Walk in place, everybody. Come on, walk in place, everybody. Let's go, walk in place, everybody. Let's go, walk in place. All right, now it's time to get ready, okay? Now we need to have a great meal. So everybody, get your big old bowl and get a big old spoon and let's stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Let's taste the chili, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. You know what we need? We need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Come on, everybody, need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Stir that chili, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. One more time, stir the chili. Okay, everybody, it's time to go outside. And oh no, there's a storm coming, and it's got thunder which goes boom, 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 boom. And lightning, 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 thunder. Boom, 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 boom. And lightning, 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 lightning. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good job, good job. All right, friends. Well, this week, we're gonna play a fun game that I like to call Coach Says, okay? Now, here's how you play. Anytime you hear me say the words, Coach Says, you need to do what I ask you to do. But if I don't say coach says, you need to just freeze and don't do anything, okay? Let's see how you do it, coach says, okay? All right, everybody stand up, stand up. All right, oh, oh, you didn't hear me say coach says. <laughs> you have to wait until you hear me say coach says. Okay, coach says, everybody stand up. Okay, good job. Coach says, act like you are scared. <laughs> All right, coach says, act like you are angry. Okay, now, all right, Paul was in danger, okay? And he had crowds who were very angry and Paul was taken to a very safe place. All right, good job, good job. Okay, coach says, act like you just thought of something. Oh, ah, yes, oh. all right, coach says, act like you are smart. <laughs> all right, coach says, act like you are talking to a crowd. Hello, people, how are you? Good to see you all. All right, good job. Coach says, freeze, okay, now, Paul was wise and Paul knew that the Jewish leaders, you know, that they had questions to ask him and he wanted to do what God wanted, you know, he wanted, wants us all to do. So Paul was a good leader. Okay, now coach says, act happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy today. <laughs> all right, coach says, act like you are talking. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, I'm doing great too. Okay. All right. Act like you're telling somebody something. Hey, come here. Come here. I got to tell you something. Come here. Come here. Okay. All right. Good job. Coach says freeze. Okay. All right. Now, Paul trusted God, you know, and he believed that God would get Paul where he needed to be. And the good news is that God does that for us too. Okay. So here's what I need you to do. Coach says, act like you're walking. Coach says, act like you get to where you're supposed to be. I <laughs> made it. That's exactly what God will do. If we listen to him, he'll get us exactly where we need to be. That's good. Now, I'm Coach Bobcat. Whew! The new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids. It's good. And I'll see you guys next week for more our campus kids. It's good. Hey, boys and girls. It is so good to see you again today on iCampus Kids. We hope you've had a great time listening to Miss Bailey, hanging out with Coach Bobcat, and singing with Yancey. In our lesson today, we learned that Paul risked his life to tell others about Jesus. He believed that God would keep him safe. We know that God will always be with us because he promises to be with us in the Bible. That's right, Miss Ashley. 
We can risk it all to tell anyone and everyone about Jesus because He will never leave us. You're right. So today we are going to be a little risky and <laughs> drop an egg challenge. Ooh, sounds Ooh. messy. All right, so our goal is to drop this egg and they're real eggs. We just picked them up from the grocery store. Yeah. To make sure, we're gonna drop this and make sure it does not break. Do you think we can do it? Okay, I'm not sure, Miss Ashley, because we have lots of things here that will help us. So yes. that's a good thing. Yes. So let's see, we've got some cardboard strips. Yep. We've got cotton balls. Yep. We've got tape. Yeah. We've got- Some bowls. Bowls yeah. and thick bowls. Yeah. So I think we can do this. I think so. Yeah. All right, are okay. you ready? Let's try. All right. If you have an egg at home, you, you should try too. Okay, so I'm gonna start by building like a layer of protection on the bottom and then wrap my egg in it, I Okay. Think. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, then I'll thingy. build a strong enough foundation and drop my egg. Yeah, and, and see, see if, if it'll, it'll catch it. Yes. Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start with some fluff on the bottom, some soft things to catch its fall. kind of hard. Maybe I'll put that underneath. I think this is fluffy enough. If You're I... just going to trust I... that? Yes, I think it'll oh, work. Oh, Shelly, that's brave. No, I think it'll work. That's brave. The only problem would be if I drop it and it lands on the table. That would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and it would make a big mess. It would make a big mess. But I'm going to watch this. Well, my okay. you got going cardboard there? is too hard. That's not going to work. I'm going to okay. abandon that. But I am going to put this little oh, carton keep inside. It in there. Mm -hmm. That's smart. So you can use your carton. No, would you can like I it? Can I borrow it? Sure. And then I'm going to put this side on top. Okay. Okay, so maybe it's Secure it a little more. Maybe. If it's Now, if I crack this thing before I even drop it, it might be You're issue. going to a lot of trouble. You know, eggs break easy. Okay, that's not good. They do. All right. Okay. Let's put a little bit more Do you want fluff. a coffee filter? Yes, I think that would be great. These are, yeah, they're kind of soft. Help, yeah. I'll put some cotton balls kind of all around it. Okay. I'm nervous. This is, you need some tape. Take it all up. Put this on the top. Okay, this is pretty How can sturdy. I help you <laughs> can you give me those little clips? Okay. I'm going to clip it on both sides. See, yours is so easy. Well, we'll see. <laughs> stick. We'll see if it works. All right, that I is think that'll work. sturdy. That is not breaking. Okay. All right, you wanna drop your screen? <laughs> All right. All right, let's so see. So if it goes straight here, we're good. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. So let's see. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? One, two, three. You gotta let go. <laughs> That bounced. Right, I was not bounced. expecting a bounce. And it definitely cracked. <laughs> definitely cracked. So it caught it. But it, it caught it, but bounced. it bounced off. <laughs> well, I was not expecting I that. I wasn't either. That is funny. I thought right. I might just miss in the drop and just <laughs> go on the table. All right. All right. Now, if this lands on its side, you're in trouble. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Oh. oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, that didn't sound good at all. That did not sound good. I wonder if I good. made it too heavy. Oh, it makes me nervous. Uh, We're gonna have some scrambled eggs. Oh, look at that. It didn't break. No cracks. Ooh, it sounded like it did. That you sounded good. hard. That was some good protection there. Look at that. <laughs> took a lot. That was so much fun. <laughs> it was a lot harder to take a risk when you don't know what the outcome will be. That's true. Because I really didn't want to drop it. Yeah. Because I didn't want it to break. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I'm so thankful that we can be confident in Jesus because he always keeps his promises. He does. See, See you, you next week, week on iCampus Kids. Kids. You know, sometimes in life we go through things and situations that are hard, stuff that's complicated. And something I have found to be true in life is that when we worship God, we experience his presence. And it's a hiding place that we have to draw close to him and just say, God, I need you. I need you in my life right now. I need you to help me and be my strength. And so this song we're going to sing today in worship is full of truth from God 
God's word that we can put our faith and our trust in. I want to invite you to believe and sing this today. Let him turn it in your favor. Watch him work it for your good. He's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good. Hello, peace. Hello, joy. strength. Hello, hope it's a new horizon. Hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Hello, strength. Hello, hope it's a new What is pouring out is nothing you've ever seen, you've ever seen. Come on, sing it with me today. for the hope that we have through Jesus to help us through anything. Come on, friends, let's sing and speak this out. See, fear is not my future. You are, you are. Sickness is not my story. You are, you are. Heartbreak's not my that we have through you to help us through anything we go through. Amen. Thanks for singing and worship.